Elizabeth Burr-Moji, and I am the Dean of the School of Education at the University of Michigan. In my life as a parent and as a daughter and as a member of a community, I am truly concerned about the teacher shortage for a number of reasons that actually dovetail with my uh, concerns as Dean of the School of Education at the University of Michigan. So my first uh, concern as a parent and the daughter of teachers um, is that we're losing um, you know, people who can bring so much to children's lives and to learning and to our nation to preparing people who are civically engaged, to preparing people who can go into multiple kinds of work and thrive and change society, we're losing those people. And so, you know, I, I care deeply about that, both because I see the power of teachers in my daughter's life, and I saw the power of teachers in my parents' lives as teachers. And you know, for that matter, I was a teacher. I was a high school teacher, and I know how it really fed me and nourished me as a human being, and how it also allowed me to be a contributor to society in really powerful ways. And so I worry about losing this amazing profession for all of those reasons, for the children and youth who will be shaped by the profession, um, or the people who've been in the profession and you know really see themselves as contributors to to have the the efficacy of the profession really being torn down at this moment is discouraging for all involved. As an education leader um, and as a member of this panel, I'm really interested in coming together in part to talk about solutions, um, in part to try to build some consensus and be able to communicate effectively to policymakers, to school leaders, um, to parents, to voters about the drastic need, the crisis that we're facing, and then you know about how to address that crisis, how to step in and actually make a difference. Um, I would really love to see us talk about how we educate, how we continue to prepare teachers. Again, we know that high quality, high instructional quality makes a difference in student learning, student achievement, student happiness and satisfaction. So we don't wanna diminish the quality of the teaching profession. And yet we're seeing a number of solutions out there that are really about reducing requirements for education, for professional development. We need to actually double down on training, education, professional development. We need to hold the teaching profession up to the highest possible standards. I believe that our nation will feel the effects for many, many years to come. And we're already dealing with the effects of a pandemic. This is not the time to reduce the quality of our teachers' preparation. It's time to enhance it and to come together to support our nation's teachers to be the best possible teachers they can be.